going back to that, the idea like the obviously after like post COVID, um, and we've now got this more of this like a mobile like hybrid um, working situation. Have you seen? Has that um, had like what's what relative impact has that? Have you seen across the market with that? Yeah, a couple of different vectors I would give. So first of all, absolutely an employee can be anywhere, right? That's an obvious thing. Mm -hmm. So I need to be able to have a productive workday from anywhere. And I would add on any device and on any type of connectivity, right? And, and it could be on a laptop, it could be on a tablet, it could be on a mobile device. And as we look out in the horizon, it could be on other connected endpoints, right? So I need to be able to do my work. That's the first shift. The second is my access to services, right? Pretty much I want to consume services as an employee of a business. So a shift towards consuming cloud-based services or just accessible to me at any point, that's super important. My firm is continuing to push me to make sure that I'm sensitive to the data. The threat vector has increased a lot, right? Like now I'm more exposed than ever. So I need to be consciously aware of the security aspects of it. And firms also need to make sure that they have better control over what's happening where, right? So that piece has seen a lot of, uh, a lot of focus. And the last piece is because of all these reasons, Karen, I think, automation has come to the forefront, right? Unless you are able to monitor, measure, and automate every step of the way in your processes and workflows, the firms are going to find themselves extremely challenging. So these are some of the big shifts that I've seen and that we are seeing that are happening in the industry. Yeah. Because <clears throat> it seems to be that the, the, the impact is, I think it's still always like a seismic it, like effect. It's like the ripple is still going, isn't it, from from covid and i think the learning process has really like exponentially gone up for all companies and and everybody within them as well in terms of that security of the data um and i think it's making people now seem a little bit more they're having to think an awful lot more about every every like movement they make or every interaction with data they make um and that, like you said with the like the threat vector now obviously there's is becoming the attack surface is coming so wide open. Um, what are you finding is the like when people are coming to you? What what do you find is there? I suppose of those priorities, what's what is the first priority that people are looking at? Do you think is it are they are they more like worried about how their their employees work, or is it more the, the in terms of the transfer of data and so on? Yeah, I think if I can even take a more foundational step, right, and I'll be remiss to not mention it, is I think that awareness and that mind shift, mindset shift at a people level, right? Because it ultimately, no matter what approach you take, you as a firm need to be organized, organizationally aligned. There has to be a push from a leadership standpoint and everybody within the business needs to buy in that we are doing certain things for the right reasons and it's going to help them as individuals and it's going to help people, uh, the firm itself, right? So that mindset shift and change with a much heightened awareness of security, compliance, protection of information, that's sort of the starting point. So now once we have that foundation, then what I see is a lot more focus around what are the sort of right set of technologies and tools and services that the firm can put in place. And like I mentioned, automate every step of the way. I mean, you have seen things like RPA coming in a big way, automation happening at every part of the workflow within a business. And traditionally things were manual or sort of handoffs were not clear. There is a much bigger emphasis on making sure that there's a lot more data-driven insights that are happening. And then the third layer from that comes the intelligence, right? So now you can drive better employee productivity and you can drive better personalization without compromising the data. So that's sort of the three-step process, uh, Karen, that, uh, that we are seeing.